Welcome to Episode 5 of Chase the Ace Degenerate Road Trip, the series where we aimlessly drive around North America while pulling cards out of a deck, doing challenges that the cards tell us to do, and searching for the elusive Ace of Spades. Last time, we left off with Declan having to cross a border while I have to write a Google review so nice that the owner responds. We're in Gettysburg. I wish I could that good. Okay, so Declan's new challenge is super easy, and mine is the dumb, hard, super hard Google review one. We're going to Gettysburg. There's no service here. I can't use my phone to do any research with the Google reviews, and we're heading south in general, so... Gettysburg, here we go! On the way to Gettysburg, we stopped to eat in Arentsville for my first Google review victim. Also, we did not know that cucumber-flavored Gatorade existed. We're in Gettysburg. I just wrote a review, a, a really kind Google review, and hopefully the restaurant owners reply to it. Also, it was delicious, so I probably would have written one anyway. Gettysburg. So the next thing we did was post up in this Gettysburg McDonald's where I cranked out Google reviews for local businesses. Then we drove around town so I could say I had been to the businesses I was reviewing. Like this one. Here are some of the reviews I left. I wish I could give the owner a hug. Oh me oh my, I love coin shops. Hello to the owner, you're doing a great job. This place rules. If the owner responds, I'll get a pizza house tattoo. Terry was a fantastic and knowledgeable tour guide. I was great able job, to buy Carrie. a nice bag as a souvenir this for is my the greatest wife. restaurant on planet Earth. We came Earth. all the way from Newfoundland, Canada. We and drove we're all so the way from Newfoundland, visited. Canada. We where there ordered a burrito no and a calzone. Both were delicious. And did any of them get us a response from the owner? Yes! Friendly's American restaurant right next to the McDonald's we were sat at. Here's how it went. I accidentally trapped myself inside this restaurant overnight! The food was delicious and the staff was very kind when they found me in the morning. 11 out of 10. Would eat here again. And the response from the owner? We're glad to hear you enjoyed our food and found our staff to be kind, even under such unique circumstances. We look forward to welcoming you back during our regular hours. Thank you for the high rating. And I would like to give a special honorable mention to one Lincoln restaurant for enduring this image and still responding as well. I'm drawing a new card. Woo! New card. Here we go. what I get? Oh! Nine of hearts. Tire swing. Ride a tire swing. Oh, that one's going to actually be tough. That's, we put that in nine? I thought we put that in, like, queen. <laughs> That's tough. That's a that hard one. Tough. That's a hard one. I just gotta keep my eyes open for one. And go get an entire swing. Next, we drove to a fairground we had passed earlier near Arentsville. This Pennsylvania fair was a cultural experience for us. They had ring-a-knife, lots of rides, cows, sheep, ponies, frisky pigs, and guinea pigs. But the most interesting thing to us was the goldfish game. Here you can throw ping pong balls into empty goldfish bowls, 10 balls for 5 bucks. If you get a ball into a bowl, you win a live goldfish. But that's not all. If you win 6 live goldfish, you can exchange your fish for a live hermit crab. And if crabs aren't your thing, you can also choose to exchange the fish for a living lizard. I've never seen a game where the prize is a living animal before, and it blew my mind a little. We were considering playing the goldfish game, but I don't think any of those animals would be very happy to get adopted by two degenerates who are living in a car for a month. After checking out the rest of the fair, Declan joined the Adams County Goat Club, and we drove away. So, my card was to cross a border. And right now, we just left Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, which is very close to the border of 
Pennsylvania and Maryland. And we are about to cross it. <laughs> and Maryland is actually very skinny. And I think we're going to go cross another one immediately after and go to West Virginia. Two for one. Where's this sign at? Isn't there another one right after West Virginia as well? Three for one. <laughs> Maryland, West Virginia, Virginia. Three borders. Crazy. I think that might be the sign right there. Oh, yeah. It is. Pennsylvania, four out of ten. That means I can draw a new card. <laughs> you ever seen Maryland's state flag before? No, I hope we do now. It's actually kind of dope. They're pretty boastful about it. <laughs> it's, it's unique. All right, I'm pulling my card. Could win right now. Oh. Flip phone. Find a flip phone. Did you? Is that the king of Spades? Oh, it is the king of Spades. King of Spades. Run away. <laughs> and I know what the king of Spades is because we were discussing it earlier. And what is it? Find a flip phone. <laughs> you did it to yourself. So, I could find an old geezer holding a flip phone, like, <laughs> go to a phone museum, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, it's king for a reason. Bye. Oh, wow. Next, we pulled over on the side of the highway and climbed down this hill so we could stand on this tri-state border, putting us in Virginia, West Virginia, and Maryland all at the same time. Maryland, five out of 10. Virginia, 6 out of 10. Wild. Next, we drove on to Winchester, Virginia. We slept here for the night, and I know it must have been some kind of curse because we don't have any videos of the night, only these pictures. Okay, so we are in Winchester, Virginia. I just woke up, Declan's still asleep. We got kicked out of a Walmart parking lot last night. Not really, there was a security guard driving around and he passed us once and he came up a second time when I was outside of the car and he said, you're not planning on sleeping here tonight, are you? And I'm like, no. And he said, well, as long as you're gone by 11, but the lows down the road doesn't bother people. So here we are at the Lowe's. I'm gonna go to Walmart now and get some things like an air freshener because the car smells and Declan's still asleep and he probably will be for a while and Chick-fil-A doesn't start serving lunch until 10.30 in an hour and a half so I got an hour and a half to kill. Walmart, I bought two air fresheners, two shoe deodorant balls to put in our dirty laundry bags, and ramen noodles. At Chick-fil-A, we made sure to leave with some disposable knives, because we'd been using Mother Nature's finger knives to spread peanut butter on our sandwiches so far. I do believe I just saw something on the side of the road. So here you go. Let's go walk down the road and see. I don't believe it. Come on. <laughs> I was getting sport mode on the go. What's that? 
that all the way down there. Can you see that? No. <laughs> I was thinking you were gonna get stuck on this one for like days. I was worried too. Oh, look at these buildings. West Virginia is crazy. Virginia. Best state so far. There are zero cars here, so hopefully these are like cabins or abandoned or something. Hopefully. It's flat against the tree. <laughs> <laughs> here it goes. Oh, it's ch it's chained to the tree. <laughs> that counts. I didn't like the noise it made. Me neither. It's wacky to me that was chained. West Virginia is crazy. It is. These card pulls are getting more and more likely every time. You never know. Could be an exciting moment. We just found the mother of all bugs. Oh my god. Look at that crazy guy. That's blowing my mind right now. I thought he only lived in, like, Senegal. Hey, 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 hey. I just completed the tire swing. It was just over there. And here is my next card. Flag finder. Find a flag for a country that you're not in. Oh, ah! <laughs> Still no ace of spades. It's probably an easy one though. Yeah, three is likely easy. That's the lowest one we've pulled so far. Find a flag for a country that you're not in or bordering. Oh, okay, that'll be easy. I gotta find a country's flag that is not the USA, not Canada, and not Mexico. I actually haven't seen any Mexico flags yet. I have somewhere. I don't remember where. We unintentionally pass by Seneca Rocks while we head towards our destination, the highest point in all of West Virginia. And that's where you'll find us in the next episode. The deck of cards is getting smaller and smaller every day now, so the Ace of Spades could show itself at any spicy moment. Make sure you're subscribed if you want to see how it all ends. And make sure to press the like button if you want to give the algorithm a little nudge saying, I like this series, don't let me forget to watch the next one. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Oh.